This is the week nine review of using the Waka Waka trading bot to pass the FTMO challenge with the goal of getting a $200,000 funded account through FTMO. I have to say this up front, and sometimes I miss saying this at the beginning, but I'm not a financial advisor. I'm, I'm not licensed to be a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I am solely showing you what I am doing, my goals, and the progress of how it works. You have to make your own choices and do your own due diligence to decide if this is something that you want to try. All right. So get past that legal stuff. And here's what we're going to do today. We are going to look at the server that's running the trading bot. We're going to look at the FTMO dashboard. And then we're going to look at the MyFX book. So here is the FTMO dashboard. And as you can see, we've got this nice stable graph moving in the upward direction, which is just what we want to see. And Right here, it shows that we ended the week after nine weeks with a total of $10,192.76 in profit. So last week, we ended the week with $8,925 in profit with no open trades. We have one open trade this week. That means that we have made $1,267 in profit this week, or approximately 0.63%. That puts us at a total of 5.09% by my math, which is the halfway mark. So we are halfway to passing the challenge at nine weeks. We did start a little slow on the lowest um, the lowest risk mode, and we moved up to the medium, the second level up. I do think, and I, we'll go back and look, I think we probably could jump into the high risk mode for this. I know some guys have asked me that um, in the Telegram chat. So the answer is, well, I'm a I'll save that. I'll come back. So we scroll down to the objectives and it does show us we've got 44 days of trading. That does not count the weekends. That's just actual days that have had trades. Um, the max loss that we've taken on a given day was $4,308, which is 2.15%. So that's not quite halfway to our max daily drawdown, which is 5%. But the actual max loss, those were end up do did close for profits on most of them. So the max loss we've actually taken on a trade was six hundred and forty two dollars, and the profit target is twenty thousand. And like I said, this says it's we're at five point zero six percent. I think it's not counting. It's not counting the open trade. So I had us at five point zero nine percent. And then we just look, look over here at the statistics. We've got an equity of. 210,134. So that's subtracting the open trade because our balance is 210,192. Average profit on a trade is 121,000 or $121,000. Absolutely not. $121. And the average loss, so when you do have some losses, is $285. An average win rate or a win rate of 88.32% and a profit factor of 3.23. So overall, that looks really good to me. Okay, so we're going to jump into the server here. And what you can see initially is it does show the balance. It shows we have one trade open, a 1.63 lot size of the Aussie New Zealand. And it's currently holding a loss of $43.83. And we'll jump over here to account history, and we can kind of see what's going on here. And most of these lot sizes are right at 1.64, 1.67, uh, looks like a 1.75 on New Zealand CAD. And it's really steady. The only one really we've got big in the last week or two was this 6.24 lot in, in the Australian CAD. And then obviously it doubled this one, the 3.12. I think we went a total of four trades on that. And it went like a 1124 multiplier. And then we also saw some big trades on the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. And that was also, let's see, that closed on the 27th. So those did get into a little bit of drawdown while they were waiting to trade. And that's where we got our big drawdown. So that's just, that's the server. You can see it's up and running. I did have some people ask about on the weekend, news filter disabled. So we did some talking in the Telegram chat and I did check it. 
I tend to reboot my servers on the weekends, do any updates that need to be done on the servers. When you do that, until the market comes back online, this will read news filter disabled. So if you if you run into that, that's something about Waka Waka that, that you can know. So lastly, we're going to look at the MyFX book for this account. This is my FTMO 200K challenge. I just imported it with the information. And it does show that we're getting about a 0.08% daily income. Those numbers are slightly different than from what FTMO is reporting on their dashboard. These numbers are actually better, I think. I don't know, better. So the, the max drawdown on FTMO is less, but I think our total drawdowns might be similar. No, I think FTMO is reporting more drawdown. And really, if we look here, it looks like that's a drawdown, a 2.79% equity drawdown versus the balance, which here, which is dropped from 208,000 down to 205,000 on that day. So overall, I do like this graph. It's a steady climb. We're making money. The profit nicely going up. Here's our drawdown, uh, September 27th. Th those were the same time we're into those big trades with the Australian dollar and New Zealand and Canadian dollars. Max right there, it shows 1.34%. So I'm not too worried about that. It does show our open trade and it does show our history. And let's just jump into, I know people like to see this. Let's go. Just the duration. We're still holding the majority of the trades less than two days. There is a smattering of trades that run out. And on this bot, because of the way the bot works, it is a modified grid martingale. So as it gets into a losing position, it will hold that trade longer, which is why you'll see more losing trades if you held it longer. And then it waits until it moves into the whole position that's tied together into a winning trade and closes it. So when the market starts moving, you'll see it closes a lot of these trades very quickly, eight minutes, you know, an hour. Those are just the trades that hit the wins. The market moved in the direction it thought it would, and it hits the wins and it takes the win. So I have a lot of people that have asked about using higher risk settings and passing this faster. The answer is yes, absolutely. You can use a higher risk setting and try and pass this faster. However, and, and if I'll say in August, the high risk Waka Waka setting made 10% and hit minimal drawdowns doing that. The market was correct for it. However, if you were at this one right here, there's a really good chance that right in this drop here, we would have blown the account on a higher risk setting because it probably would have been double that drawdown or more because the lot sizes would be higher. So I would rather stick with something solid and not gamble. If you want to gamble and flip coins, that's great. And I'm not knocking it. But the goal with this challenge is to pass the test without failing. I don't want to take the test five times. I want to take it one time if I can. And then I want to load a bot in this case, I plan to load the Precept Trader AI bot with the unique mode and the AI filters. And hopefully, hopefully that bot will make me three, two, three, four percent a month on a $200,000 account. If I can hit 4% a month or $8,000 profit on a $200,000 account, even after giving FTMO their cut, it's profitable for me. And if you look at the breakdown of what I've put into making this happen, the cost of the server, the cost of the Waka Waka bot and the Precept Trader AI bot, and then paying for the challenge, I probably have, oh, close to 4,000, I think, um, the bots. I've got 3,000 the bots. So I own them. So it's not like I'm only using that for this. And then I've got 1080 euros. I think it was about $1,200 with the exchange rate to buy the FTMO challenge. So right in there, I'm probably at what, $4,200 to pass this. So if I can get this to work, yes, it's long-term in one month of actually making the four to 5%, maybe, you know, 4%, 8,000 take your cut If 5% would be great, but I'm not going to push that hard. Even 3%, $6,000, give them their cut. I break even, and then I get a steady income 
of two to three to four thousand dollars a month on one account. If it works, I will then do this, and you can have up to six hundred thousand dollars in funding through FTMO. So theoretically, in theory, if this works, I could be making two to three percent a month on six hundred thousand dollars. So let's just go to the calculator. I could do it in my head, but six hundred thousand times, let's say I hit 2%, low, low, 2% a month, right? That's $12,000. Give FTMO their cut. I'm still making really good money every month. And honestly, I think we can do better than 2% once I get the, the Precept Trader AI bot dialed in. So it's not the end all. You may want to manually trade this. I'm actually trying some different manual trade signals, which I will, after a month or two of testing them out, I'll do a review on those. So there's lots of options. There are also are other services or options, bots to pass the challenge faster. But I say, but my goal is to pass it and not have to pay three and four times to pass it once because that then really cuts into your long-term or your short-term profits. I'd rather get money in my pocket and then use their money to try and pass more challenges. If you like what you see here, like these video series, do me a favor, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, Leave me a comment down below about what you would like me to add to this series or another series, if that's what it is, that I could do for you. So I did have one uh, person in the Telegram and one person that commented on YouTube that asked me to go and look at the duration and a little more in depth. So these are a bit, a little bit longer than they've been in the past, but that's what he wanted to see. And I got no problem doing that. So if there's something that I'm missing, that you think is important, especially with this challenge, uh, leave me a comment. I'll get in there. I'll take a look and see if it's something we can do. I'm also trying to monetize this YouTube channel with the goal of showing the back end office of what you make, what I make, but what one could make with a monetized YouTube channel. For that, I need a thousand subscribers. I also need 4,000 hours of watch time. I'm not too concerned with the watch time but I am interested in getting the subscribers. I, the watch time will come with the subscribers. I think we've got almost 100 people in the Telegram channel, and yet I'm only getting, I'm not getting 100 thumbs up on my videos. So if this is something you're watching and you're asking questions about, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, help me so that I can continue to do this and let YouTube pay for it. I'm not charging subscriptions. I answer, if anyone's in the Telegram channel, they should know I answer questions a lot during the day and night when I get a chance. I do have a full-time job, so sometimes I'm not able to look, but I try and answer everyone's questions and I'm here to help because I want everyone to succeed. So have a good day and I'll see you next time.